Scott here for Netbook News, and today we're going to be looking at the e-keyboard, which should be shipping by the end of this week. Uh, there's been a couple of significant changes to the design, not on the keyboard, which is the same fantastic, really great build quality keyboard, but mainly to this 5-inch capacitive touchscreen. So we've moved away from the resistive to the capacitive. Uh, this is a sneak peek at the uh, new uh, touch mouse interface. Uh, it actually works on gestures as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm just going to quickly show you the back. One of the biggest design changes we're seeing is there is no stylus. There's your ultra wideband, three USBs, your fan, PSU, your Wi-Fi, the hard switch on and off is there. Uh, headphone, microphone, Ethernet, HDMI cable, VGA, and another fan. But one of the most exciting things that we're going to be looking at today is how the e-keyboard works with your television. So let's actually just return to the home screen here by pressing this hard key. So this would be the 5-inch touch. This is for the applications that I want to send off to the TV. Let's quickly run through here. So there's some applications that I can run here on this screen. There's my music and multimedia. Settings. Well, you still have your fun learning Chinese and typing there. I like that from last time. And down here is your information and news. You can still run the same RSS readers, world time and weather that you could before. But let's get to the interesting part how we're going to use this to play video. First we're going to start off with YouTube because let's face it, if we can't play YouTube on our TVs then this is not really a machine that is made for your living room. Um, this is YouTube that's come up but actually um, we'll take a quick look down here and I've already looked for a couple of HD videos so I'm going to press this and it's going to change The screen that's come up. So I've got two YouTubes open and this flips back and forth between them. Alright, so here, these are the gestures that I was talking about so you can more easily navigate. Scroll wheel, mouse buttons. So, all right. so here I'm going to decide to play Alice in Wonderland. If we zoom in on the icon you'll see there's a the large play button there at the top left hand corner. So if we select that and then Intel Adam has never been known for being able to play HD video well, so the fun people at ASUS have very intelligently integrated this ArcSoft uh, player that uh, is going to maximize the HD, uh, Broadcom HD encoder that we've got here. So when we go full screen, we'll be able to play HD video content on an Atom N270 processor and have it still run smoothly. So it's buffering right now, and here we go, HD video. Oh, it's buffering. Well, we're going to have to blame the uh, not-so-quick ASUS internet connection here for the buffering, but otherwise, as you can see, this is some pretty, pretty clear HD content. Alright, so if we return down to the console here, we're just going to flip through how you might play on board, um, on board media, because this is a media device for all of your great home files, playing them in your own living room. So I've loaded the video player here. As you can see, the ArcSoft player has come up again. But we can decide to browse the files by just clicking here. And we'll get an entire playlist. So let's choose Super Speedway. That's just going to select here. And then we're going to wait for it to come up here on the screen. And there we go. So it plays HD content straight from your home library. So now if we wanted to close this off and stop it there, it actually stops it and uses, uh, it uses it like, like a remote. So you can do that same thing with your all of your files, photo viewer as well. So here are some of the other applications that ASUS has put on board. We have Enet. I actually have done a video on this already. Um, this is because this is running Windows XP, um, this is free software that allows you to create a home NAS server. 
So essentially what you can do is you can download this onto all of your other computers. So you can actually click on options and then you can decide to download this onto any computer, be it a Sony, a, you know, a Dell, anyone, anyone. So you can create your own Windows 7 like ecosystem without actually having Windows 7. So this is a great feature, right? That saves you money for not actually having to use Windows uh, 7 licensing. So I have to say one of the biggest improvements that I've definitely seen is this this whole mouse pad area with its gestures and the fact that it's capacitive now. Um, one other thing that uh, when you see this ship there'll be a sticker right here kind of indicating that this pause break is like an SOS key. So when I press it, you can see I have everything open here. It gives me the option to close everything. So that's a great great feature. And for hard keys on the keyboard, another great option is this. Uh, you don't see this every day. So what this does is when you press this, you see it there. So that changes our audio output because when we're switching it between the keyboard and our TV, audio doesn't always move to the right area. So you don't want to be listening to your movie off the audio of your e-keyboard. You want to be listening to it off the audio of your TV. So these are some great little features that ASUS has included in the e-keyboard to make it a multimedia machine for your living room. So I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking a look at new technology for you.